Lieutenant Archie Hickox, reporting south. General Ad Fennec, at ease here, Cox. Drink. If you offered me a scotch and plain water, I could drink a scotch and plain water. That a boy, Lieutenant. Make it yourself like a good chap, will you? The bar's in the glow. Something for yourself, sir? Whiskey, straight. No junkies. It says here that you speak German fluently. Like a cat and jammer kid. And your occupation before the war? I'm film critic. List your accomplishments. Well, sir, such as they are, I write reviews and articles for a publication called Films and Filmmakers. And I've had two books published. Oh, impressive. Now, don't be modest, Lieutenant. What are their titles? The first book was called The Art of the Eyes, the Heart and the Mind, a study of German cinema in the 20s. And the second one was called 24 Frame Da Vinci. It's a subtextual film criticism study of the work of German director G.W. Pabst. What should we drink to, sir? Well, um, down with Hitler. All the way down, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Are you familiar with German cinema under the Third Reich? Yes. Obviously, I haven't seen any of the films made in the last three years, but I'm familiar with it. Explain it to me. Pardon, sir? Well, this little escapade of ours requires a knowledge of the German film industry under the Third Reich. Explain to me Ufa under Goebbels. Goebbels considers the films he's making to be the beginning of a new era in German cinema an alternative to what he considers the Jewish-German intellectual cinema of the 20s and the Jewish-controlled dogma of Hollywood. How's he doing? Frightfully sorry, sir. Once again? You say he wants to take on the Jews at their own game, who are compared to, say, Louis B. Mayer. How's he doing? Quite well, actually. Since Goebbels has taken over, film attendance has steadily risen in Germany over the last eight years. But Louis B. Mayer wouldn't be Goebbels' proper opposite number. I believe Goebbels sees himself closer to David O. Selznick. Brief him. Lieutenant Hickox, at this point in time, I'd like to brief you on Operation Keen Air. Three days from now, Joseph Goebbels is throwing a gala premiere of one of his new movies in Paris. What film, sir? The motion picture is called Nation's Pride. In attendance at this joyous, germatic occasion will be Goebbels, Goering, Bormann, and most of the German high command, including all high-ranking officers of both the SS and the Gestapo, as well as luminaries of the Nazi propaganda film industry. The master race at play, eh? Basically, we have all our rotten eggs in one basket. The objective of Operation Kino? Blow up the basket. And like the snows of yesteryear, gone from this earth. Very good, sir. An American Secret Service advocate lives deep behind enemy lines will be your assist. The Germans call them the bastards. The bastards? Never heard of them. Well, according to the Secret Service, so far, you're not hearing of them. But the Jerrys have heard of them. Because these Yanks have been then the devil. You'll be dropped into France, about 24 kilometers outside of Paris. The bastards will be waiting for you. First thing, you'll go to a little village called Nadine. In Nadine, there's a tavern called La Louisiane. There you'll rendezvous with our double agent. She'll take you from there. She's the one who's going to get you into the premier. It will be you, her, and two German-born members of the Bastards. She's also made all the other arrangements you're going to need. How will I know her? I suspect that won't be too much trouble for you. Your contact is Bridget von Hammersmark. Bridget von Hammersmark? The German movie star is working for England. Yes, the last two years now. One could even say that Operation Kino was her brainchild. Indeed. Got the gist? I think so, sir. Paris when it sizzles. <laughs>